It's time for part two. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you're new here, my name is Renny, and if you're not, welcome back. I'm so glad you guys are back so we can hang out. Um, I am gonna go over the second part of this haul. So let's just dive in because I have a bag full of goodies. Let me show you. The Steve Madden tote full of goodies and I really hope you guys enjoy what I find. So I will let you know if I'm gonna end up keeping some of these pieces or not, but let's uh, get in here and see what's, what there is. Okay, so right off the top, there is no order I'm pulling these from. I'm just picking from the pile. First off are these diesel swim trunks in this really pretty navy color. Unfortunately, these are for men. It says diesel swimwear. Well, they're stated as men, but I just definitely don't see why a woman couldn't wear these. So they're still shorts and the size is extra, extra large. And they have the built-in like a mesh undies. The only thing with these is that they have like a burn mark. They have two burn marks on them one here and then one um up by the band as well like right there it's very tiny but there's still burn marks on here other than that very good condition i showed these to mike my fiance and i was like hey i was like i got you some trunks and he's like absolutely not <laughs> they're too short <laughs> next thing i'm so excited about these these are vintage Epoji leather shorts. These are stinking cute. I love this purple color. They're high-waisted, they're Bermuda shorts. They are a vintage size 12. Epo, Epoji, Epoji. They are 100% leather. And I really hope these fit because they are darling. So let's try them on. Okay, so they do zip up, but they <laughs> don't button. And they bunch weird here for me. So, I mean, like, I guess I can get them to button, but they're just like, gonna be a little bit tight, which honestly, I'm not a big fan of. They do button. Just be. They do button. They're just like weird right here. Damn, I thought they were gonna look cuter on me. I just think I'm not the body type for a pair of shorts like this. So, maybe they're just a smidge tight. <laughs> okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you guys are these beautiful purple trousers by Sarica Jessica, Sarah Jessica Parker. It's her bitten line. These are a size eight. They are a pinstripe purple wide leg trouser. I think these are gorgeous. Let's try these on too because I really, really like these and I really hope they fit me so I can keep them because I really like them. All right, let's take off these shorts. <laughs> um, They're a little tight. They're a little tight around the cheeks. They're kind of tight right here. I feel like they're making my butt flat and very tight here. These are not for hippie girls at all, but in the waist they do fit me a little big so that's okay and i definitely don't mind a rise like this i do think a rise like this is nice i really like them and the length is nice but they're just very tight on my hips like i guess i could sit down on them but it just feels like my butt is just getting squished so not gonna end up keeping these Okay, next thing in the bag is this gorgeous, it's like cargo style, like midi skirt, and it's not steamed or anything, but it's a very pretty, and I do like like the gunmetal gray. It's by a brand called Gary Weber, and I guess this brand used to be expensive. It doesn't resell for a lot now. Very cute, let's try it on and see if this fits because I do like this skirt. I think this with some boots, would be very nice or some kitten heels. <laughs> Let's try it on guys. This zips closed, but oh my God, my butt feels like it's in a stray jacket. Like, can you see how this is like puckering? Like again, booty is just not happy. Okay. Let's keep it going. Okay. Uh, next up, we have this very cute high, low black hooded 
Free People cardigan in a size extra small. This is very soft. This is what it looks like. It just needs a very good lint roll and maybe a little sweater shave, but it is very soft. I do like how cozy this is. This is another dangerous cardigan that makes me want to go uh, lay down and it is thin. You can kind of see like the skin through here. It is very soft though and very, very cozy. All right, free people, size extra small, hooded cardigan. So cute. Next up we have a Sugar Thrills top. It's like a cotton candy stripe top with these little bell sleeves and this tie detail on the front. There is a tag, size small, super cute little crop top. Uh, next up is this Natori little floral slip dress. This is a size large, it has these really pretty flutter sleeves. It's just sheer all around. And this is the print up close. And then let me show you the tag. This is older. Here's the tag, Notori. And then it does have a paper tag. It says made in the Philippines, size large. This is a very cute little sheer slip. Uh, Next up, oh, this dress is very pretty. If I had somewhere to wear a dress like this too, I would definitely debate about wearing one like this. Let me just zip the back up real quick so we can get the full effect. So this is by a brand called Tadashi and I guess their, their brand is pretty expensive because they have really nice stuff. This is 100% silk and it's just very pretty black scallop. This is kind of giving like the tulip effect. I feel like all the fabric is just coming in and kind of coming out a little bit. I think this would be very flattering on most body types but it is a chiffon fabric with adjustable straps the size is a size eight this is a very pretty dress this gives me mermaid vibes like dark mermaid in all the best ways next is this plenty little chiffon skirt this is also a hundred percent silk this was this has really caught my attention because of the type of fabric it's giving like those beautiful gold frame mirrors. My mom has them and I am so in love with them. I've been on the hunt for them, but I cannot find them. And then it's contrasted with these like bronze studs. I thought that was such a unique contrast. Like the co it's in the same color wheel, but just a pop of blue is just, I wouldn't think of doing something like that. And this is very pretty. It is like a chiffon like a sheer little like drop waist skirt. This is very cute. Drop waist skirts do not look good on my bum or I will, or else I would have tried that on for you guys. It would have fit me like half the seam would have been on my butt, half the seam would have been off. So I'm not gonna put myself through that or you guys through that. <laughs> okay, next up is this jacket called Excel. It's Excel Garment Minneapolis. Here is the tag. I think this is vintage, but I cannot be too sure. I really, really like this jacket because it was giving me a little bit of a medieval vibe, and I'll show you why. Okay, one, I love the quilted jacket. There is no size tag, but maybe like a size six. Okay, you can wear it open like this, and then it has these buttons if you will, that you hook like this. This is why I say it's giving medieval vibes. It feels like armor. This is kind of a cool jacket. It's giving like warrior vibes, maybe like, uh, yes, armor, but, but I do like the silver metal chains. This is very nice. It's all printed. And then the interior is just a straight up black. I thought this was going to be like a reversible type quilted jacket, but I guess it's not. So that's fine. The cool part is on the outside anyways. It's just a straight up black jacket on the interior. I was just trying to see if there's like buttons that we could flip it in and out, but I guess there's not. Still excited pickup. Happy for that. Okay, this next thing I'm gonna be taking with me to California. This is by Westbound. It is a burgundy 
paisley print windbreaker jacket it's a soft windbreaker type look how cute this print is this is like grandma in all the best ways because it's a white interior. This hella reminds me of like back in the day. I think my mom used to wear track suits like this all the time, all the time. I think she had them in like six or seven different colors. But this is very cute. I do like this and I wish it was colder now so I could still wear this out and about. Very cute. <laughs> And it's really comfy too. Okay, so I think this haul got mixed into a haul when I went thrifting with my sister a few videos ago because in that I remember showing you guys that I thrifted this sleeping beauty robe. And you know I'm a sucker, sucker for robes. I just got another one actually. I can't help myself. So cute. I love, geez, okay, let me show you, geez. <laughs> okay, I love this print. So stinking cute. Has Sleeping Beauty here with all the little critters and the floral print. Very cute. I think this is like a size extra large. And it does fit me pretty big. It is short. I might just keep this for a little bit and then sell it. But don't get me wrong, I love me a Disney character but I am more leaning towards like let me show you prints like this in robes or something a little bit more sultry I feel like this is like I'm gonna go to a kid sleepover kind of not in a bad way because you know I do have sleepovers with my nieces but it's cute but I don't think it's gonna end up being a keep for me and have I shown you guys this no, I think the last one that I showed you was an Athleta skirt. Okay, this is a, a Nike Dry Fit size medium tennis skirt. Okay, I was on the hunt, on the hunt for a tennis skirt last time. Uh, we're gonna try this on. One moment. So cute. Oh my god, you guys, why didn't I buy this before? Look, if I'm in a situation where I need to get away I can freely like why because there's shorts okay it has built-in shorts okay well um there's an outfit that I have really wanted to recreate with a little tennis score and I think my dreams are going to come true because I'm gonna wear this a like collegiate type sweater and the only one that I can think of that I have that is semi collegiate on the chest is my Winnie the Pooh one. Mickey Mouse, it's my Mickey Mouse one with loafers. I know, how cliche, right? Like, ooh, revolutionary. But honestly, I've been wanting to recreate an outfit like that for such a long time. I might go that route, or I think what happens most of the time is I put something on, like I start putting things on, and I'm like, oh no, this would look better, or that would look better, or this, or this, you know? And it goes from there. But this, I like very much you know I played tennis for a while yeah two lessons worth of tennis so yes I wasn't very good <laughs> okay next up don't worry I'm gonna change but I just have some things I want to try on with you guys so we'll I'll change then okay this is next this is an Ishu e -su size large yellow dress this is a midi length dress with this keyhole detail. This is very cute. And I really, really like these dress, especially the yellow color. I am a big fan of yellow. The only thing I am concerned about is that I will not be able to button these by myself. So I'm just going to hold it when I put it on. Like, I'm just going to hold it closed so we can get the idea of what it looks like. I'm in the middle of trying this, putting this dress on, as you can see and one of my lights just went out. So my lighting might be a little off now. Good news is I didn't have any issues when I was putting it over my bottom. So that is nice. It zipped up quite nicely. Um, okay, 
Um, I can't really see what the hip area looks like on me because there's this like thing in the camera, but I am not a fan. I just feel like I could find something that fits better. I think it wants to look good. Okay, I think it wants to look good, but no. Let's try on something else. I got this jumpsuit. Give me one second. Okay, this is a jumpsuit. This is by Michael Kors. Michael, Michael Kors. I'll show you the tag when I take it off. It's a red jumpsuit. It is missing the waist tie, and I did not notice it until I brought this home and was photographing it. Okay, I do love the color. I love red on me. I think it looks really nice on my skin tone, but because the lighting is off right now, I think it kind of like washes me out weird but my hair here so it doesn't look so crazy but in the hips this is always my issue it's in the hips this is just a little tight here for me but i do love jumpsuits even though you gotta get totally naked to go tinkle i'll take one for the team because jumpsuits are totally worth it and it's a culotte it's a short one cropped I don't know how to pronounce it. You know what I mean. It's cropped. It's short. Mm, not a big fan of that. And you do tie these right here to make them shorter if you'd like. That I don't mind. I like the V front and I do enjoy the V back. I think that's very cute. And I appreciate the elastic waistband because that means that we can enjoy ourselves. But overall, I'm just not a fan of it. In the hips because when i like walk it'll bunch up like this okay my camera overheated so let's just jump into the next two pieces before my camera dies on me again and let me stick these little string thingies back in there okay this vest if it was my size i would totally keep this is by george simonetta and it's this um what is this material called this fabric it's like rope I forget what it's called. I literally put it in the listing, but it just cannot, I I just cannot think of it right now. It's a size 24. This was sold at uh, Saks Off 5th back in the day. And this was normally a $415 vest. So stinking cute. This is giving cowboy vibes in all the best ways, like little country girl, coastal cowgirl. Ooh, cute. I didn't show you the tag, but this is the Michael, Michael Kors red jumpsuit. Okay, and I got lucky today because I found this day, because I found two free people items. This is free people size four. I'm not even going to attempt to try that on because I know it's not gonna go over my bum. So let's keep the feelings preserved. <laughs> this is a pink rose gold right sequin midi length skirt with a leg slit if this still fit me mm, i would be all up in this this is such a cute little skirt has a zipper closure great condition love it i am a sucker for sequins especially in skirts like this i think they look so cute Two more things, two more things. Okay, this is a new with tag Victoria's Secret lemon print bathing suit. And I saw that for this spring slash summer, this type of fruit print is totally gonna be in for bathing suit attire. It says Victoria's Secret Swim. It's a 32 double D, unfortunately. This definitely does not fit me. So if one of you lucky ladies out there would like the swim top, let me know and I will give you a killer price on this because look at the lemons and look at the ruffles. So stinking cute. Last thing is this gorgeous scarf. This could definitely be spring, right? But I guess spring colors right now, everybody's saying is neutral, but this is just a very overall cute scarf. It's by a brand called Le Tigre. This is what it looks like. Very cute. I love the logo on there. I think it's adorable. Uh, I was trying to see if there was a year on here, but there's not. It's 100% acrylic, and it's this really pretty yellow, orange, and pink scarf with fringe, fringe ends. 
and there is the logo again very cute scarf perfect little pop of color if you are still into color this spring which by the looks of it looks like i'm not but i definitely am <laughs> all right guys well thank you guys so much for joining me again for this thrift haul let me know what your favorite piece was that i found and if you're interested in anything it'll be in my poshmark closet don't forget to like this video please subscribe if you haven't and i will see you guys in the next one bye